I am Violent, and you are very welcome to my channel. Today we will be looking at a special module, Polygogo from ERM. Polygogo is a stereo oscillator which uses an innovative synthesis technique called polygonal synthesis. But what are polygonal synthesis? There is a paper about this method, which tells us that this synthesis is based on sampling a variable polygon in polar space with a rotating phaser. Due to the steady angular velocity of the phaser, the generated waveform exhibits constant pitch and complexly shaped amplitudes. The order and phase of the polygon can be adjusted in real time, allowing for a wide range of harmonical rich timbers. Loopup made an excellent tutorial on the module, you can find the link in the description below. However, I'm going to give you a quick guide to the parameters. If you are familiar with the module, my dear listener, feel free to jump to the patch tips using the timeline. The module was built with a single knob, single function interface, which is transparent and easy to use. This beautiful OLED screen shows the plot and updates it in real time if you change parameters. The first pot controls the fundamental tone. The second pot controls the order of the polygon, therefore set the overtones. The higher this volume, the closer the polygon will be to a circle. The third pot draws teeth, <laughs> so it steals the size of the polygons out to control the volume of the overtones. The fourth pot animates the polygon and rotates its timber in sterile space. The last two pots control an internal operator to create unique and amazing FM sounds. Each pot comes with an attenuator excellent feature of the module. In addition to this, a fault function is also built in, which overflows the wave to the other side by giving crisp and large sound. Now let's look at the patch tips. Since all synthesis parameters are available on Polygogo, it is relatively easy to achieve complex results. Now I control it with joystick. The sequence is running in Moskva, the pitch information goes to OP ratio. Mats provides an envelope and the sound has some subtle distortion. A great addition to Polygogo is Oct. In this patch, the slowest channel of Oct is plugged into Fold. The next one is plugged into Roll parameter. The next is feedback into the rate CV of the module. The next goes into Teeth and the one after that is plugged into Order.
everything is controlled by the ultra random analog clock. Air flux goes to order, octo output goes to teeth, sample output B goes to roll, sample output A goes to OP ratio, the positive output of control forge goes to OP amp. Math provides the envelope. In this patch, polycoco output goes into a mixer and then into the topographic delay. The ultra random analog gives a clock signal again, which is sent to TAPO, Control Forge, Satellite, and Moskva. Control Forge and Satellite send random values to the TAPO time parameter and the teeth parameter of the polycoco, respectively. Since TAPO is in sync mode, the time parameter divides or multiplies the incoming clock signal. Moskva plays a 7 note sequence. The clock signal can be used to derive subtle Euclidean rhythms now played by a simulator. Polycoco can be combined well with any filter that works with more complex waveforms. A great example is Morpheus. Right now I'm using preset 221, where the peaks and notches are spaced evenly, though not necessarily harmonically. I control two of its parameters with joystick, and Polycoco gets the modulations and random values mainly from Robo. Oct modulates fold very slowly. I use ultra random analog to lengthen and shorten the envelope curve of math. This is another good proof that Polygo can be used well for sound design, although this signal will probably have to be compressed because it has a rather large dynamic range. Extremely beautiful textures can be achieved by combining the previous modulation sources. Let's look at a two voice plus drum example. The main voice is provided by Polygogo, the sub voices source is braids plus elements. Now also ultra random analog provides the clock and modulation as well. The air flux out and opto out modulate the envelope of the Polygogo's X and Y outputs. Air pulls out sends a random value to teeth. OP ratio, fold and order are modulated by a signal from OCT. OCT is independent of the main clock and therefore makes the patch more organic. Polygogo receives a sequence of four pitches. The envelope is triggered by a sophisticated rhythm of the quad clock distributor. The signal goes into TAPO and from there straight into Morpheus. Three signals of Robo modulate the three parameters of the cube. A clock divider, which divides the main clock signal, steps a preset sequence. 
The second voice is a nice drone. It's the sound of Braid's fold algorithm traveling through the elements resonator. Filter 8 moderates elements, a slow envelope controls the amplitude. Euclidean rhythm formulas accompany the two solos. I produce these rhythms with micro ornament grime from Michigan Synthworks. Whichever way I look at it, I can use polygogo in almost any musical situation. It is good as a melody generator. It can output all sorts of weird sound. It is excellent for sound design. And because you can access all synthesis parameters instantly, you can quickly make radical changes to your sound, which is very useful on stage. It is an innovative, well-built, useful module. If you buy it, you won't be disappointed. Finally, if you like what you have seen and heard, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel or both. Take care and see you soon. Bye.